Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Ah, uh, Triss. Sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches? They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Hands off. What did you say? Yeah, I sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, witch. One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stick?
Deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. 
Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Well? 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 Well?
Well? This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm-hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Triss. You there! Mr. Reuben wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know. I have far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever.
minute witcher now i'm curious something mighty how is it you were off the same bloody night horse son tried to kill me Twas chance honest i was at the brothel i've witnesses i don't doubt you found some witnesses but i do doubt the bit about chance know what shite conversation this so much blethering we've got nowhere Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. Ah! No. No. I know nothing. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win-win situation, as I see it. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot-headed, and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Not interested in your squabbles. Figure out what you want. Come and see me. Back to elf. He's a good man. Honest. Right, just. Must be the drop box. Give the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. Hello, 
my long ears. You paid the tax. to hide. Classic. you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady I never but to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> Surprised, don't know. The dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenford. Positively spectacular. 
afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Mengi's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> You're wide. I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. <laughs> I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, slay, and gay. How do you feel? Base, cruel, vile. I could go on, but I need to get out of here now. Go home, bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Yes, girl? So long, Triss. Mountains don't move, and... So close to Novigrad. Wouldn't you rather trade inside the city walls? The guild's entrenched there. Why, their members fix prices to stifle any competition. I do a robust trade here with none to pester me. No walls to ring me in. The open's a pleasure in itself, I'm certain you agree. Take a peek if you don't mind.
Farewell. We'll meet again. I know this. Take it easy. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Give us a crown. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Hmm, maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. 
Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured. What it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Cowards oh. all fled you across the Pontar, said a defender their fatherland. Jerkins. Interesting. Think he's punishable by death. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. Help! from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe, well, 
Recently, someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would you come alone, Miss? If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Bagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Bagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of love. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Bagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's got the wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to them... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. If the hunters are after Albert, I doubt some merrymaking will distract them. Geralt, a ball at the Vagal Butts is hardly some merrymaking. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. We won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. We can head there now. You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. It's a rank.
good one to you, young man. Hells all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful, and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. You just might have the herbs I need. How about you take a break from hawking? We play cards instead.
That's it, Roach. Greetings. Come to look over my spring. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes... So long. Move it. Come on now. Hey there. Slow now, whoa. <laughs> the grey one again. Dog has been swinging off its hinges all day. certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, 
damn doublet's chafing my armpits, and it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Well? How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Hello, No one's pretending you don't know me. Those were the Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? Come back. What a jackass. I'm, done with you. I'm getting old. My husband's a supervisor <laughs> by trade. <laughs> I'm a Kraken! <laughs> Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. The challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it.
moron! When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomo Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Not in the mood. <laughs> not in the mood to win. If it didn't the first one to break.
One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zuglebone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Not in the mood. <laughs> Truth is... ...dependent on the black ones, economically. Bravo! The lovely lady clearly brings you a behaviors. Oh, never let her go. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city wall. Gregor, have you seen Durgoth just moments ago? Oh, 
Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Revere, so I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Geralt? My husband is so... Ah! Breathe.